This is the English Literature Web YouTube channel. I am Professor Elvi Gaikwad is teaching the poem Ice and Fire by Edmund Spencer Part 3. In this part, we will see now the next explanation of the poem by the poet. The poet says that the lover should wait for the beloved's love though he is burning like the fire. So remember here the poet has used the images of the eyes and fire to explain the beloved and the lover. And here he says that the part of the lover is only for waiting the love of the beloved and that's why he should wait for the love of the beloved though he is burning like the fire because it is very interesting if the lover is burning like the fire because the burning like the fire is the beautiful position of the lover that the beloved can be caught very uh, interestingly or caught very uh, with uh, her uh, particular passion and she will then uh, be united with the uh, lover and that's why here it is very clear that the uh, lover should uh, wait for the beloved too much he should not make any kind of hurry in uniting with his beloved if the beloved is hasty in loving, he mars the significance of his love towards his beloved. Remember, if the beloved is hasty, remember, or if the lover is hasty in loving each other, then they both mar or they both kill the significance of their love means they do not increase the importance of the love but they decrease the importance or significance of the love and the purpose of living life with love goes uh, to be lost that is the important thing which here Edmund Spencer tries to say the word vocabulary of the poet is rich is rich too much I will say because he explains uh, properly the theme of the poem with the particular vocabulary. So here the poet has used the typical words, the typical images to explain his idea, his theme and that's why we can say that the vocabulary or the dictionary or the words, pages or sentences or the lines of the poem are really very very peculiar or very very typical or strange and that's why <coughs> this poem has become the masterpiece of Edmund Spencer. This poem has been taken by Spencer from his anthology Amrity. Remember the poet Edmund Spencer has written his anthology and that is Amoretti and from this anthology he has taken this particular poem. This poem presents poet's love, feeling and the marriage appearance. Remember here the poet has been married to his wife and his wife uh, is the particular uh, here the image that is very silent or very cold. And that's why here Edmund Spencer has explained his own family experience in this poem. That's why here we can say that here is the autobiography of the poet of his uh, marriage. And also uh, he has explained his feeling of love towards his beloved. As for the poet's feeling, his beloved's eyes are like the eyes of the goddess. Remember, it is the particular thing 
here i will say that the poet is very much interested in loving his beloved and that's why he has increased the importance of his beloved and therefore he says that his beloved is like the goddess means uh, he has seen the beauty of the goddess in his beloved and that's why he has compared here his beloved with the goddess ice and fire is a spencerian sonnet of 14 lines remember spencer has written his own poems with his own style of the sonnet it means that he has invented his own sonnet and that's why uh, this edmund spencer is called the father of the sonnet and so he has structured this poem in quatrains and i am big pentameter now see the quatrain is a stanza in this poem which has put four lines and the iambic pentameter is the line in the poem with five metrical feet each line is full of unstressed syllable followed by a long or stressed syllable and that's why here we can say that this is the typical sonnet which has been written by edmund spencer edmund spencer has written his all poems by constructing his own uh, sonnet style he has invented it and many poets have followed the style of the uh, i will say sonnet of this edmund spencer the poet says that the heart of the beloved is frozen that is very steady remember the uh, lover is here very hasty in loving his uh, beloved and that's why his uh, hastiness is showing that his beloved is very steady or his beloved is very uh, slow or gradual in loving him and that's why he calls his beloved as the steady personality because he is burning like the fire and the beloved is living like the ice and that's why here he says that the beloved is frozen because she responds to the poet's love so steadily that the poet has to wait a lot for her remember the poet is burning like the fire still the poet has to wait for the beloved and that's why he calls that his beloved is like the ice or she is very steady in loving uh, in loving with him the poet or the lover burns too much in his heart it means that there is the condition of the lover and the poet is is saying means the lover also burns in his heart for his beloved in the same way here the poet is burning for the love of his uh, beloved or wife and that's why here the poet has compared himself with the lover the poet yearns for his wife's love remember here the poet is yearning for his wife's love means he is why is not rather ready to give him love and that's why he is yearning for or he is pining for the love of his wife the silent and the cold response of the beloved or his wife makes him restless and that's why here the poet has been very much restless because of the particular response which is very steady slow or gradual response and it is quite possible that the poet has become very much hasty to love his beloved he finds out the ways to write unite 
with her but no use at all remember the poet finds out the ways right or the ways properly to unite or to come together with his beloved but there is no use of his ways or his uh, particular i will say uh, finding out because his beloved is rather shy or his beloved is rather steady and that's why it is impossible for him so he tries and tries only uh, because it is there in the luck of the poet destiny of the poet that he only waits and waits or he tries and tries uh, for the love of his beloved therefore the poet's or the lover's love is a real love original love spiritual love and miraculous love remember this love is not there in the life of other persons because such love is rather very burning love very i will say very steady love and that's why uh, the real test of the love is experienced here by the poet and that's why the love of the poet is very different from other people or the poets his cold frozen beloved has lighted the flame of love in the poet's mind remember here the beloved of the uh, poet has caught the mind of the poet means i will say the uh, beloved has become his dream and she has caught the mind of the poet the heart of the poet the soul of the poet and that's why here it is very clear that she is the real uh, beloved she is the original beloved she is the spiritual beloved and she is the miraculous beloved the power in the love changes anything in the world as per the poet and this love power is really the love power and here uh, finally i will say that the poet has said here that the love is the particular thing which has the power and this power changes anything in life and if the love is there or such type of love is there in the life of the common persons then it is quite possible that the life of the common people will be very much happy so today here we have finished the part 3 of the poem ice and fire by edmund spencer again we will come together with a new topic in the next lecture until then thank you thank you very much